With the Philadelphia Union's latest run on matches, it has left the Union faithful seeing a little red. And I'm not talking about the Energy Drink Club up in North Jersey. Up the potential 7 points out of 9 in the last 3 matches. And even worse, they looked like the better team in all 3 of those matches. And things don't get any easier as the Union are going to play their third match in 7 days as they travel to Minnesota Sunday. And the question is, can the Union finally get 3 points for the first time in the last 3 matches? We will discuss that as we review the Union vs. the Minnesota United match. And that's coming up next, Barcelos. Eh! Dale! And welcome everyone to Do By The River, the show where we follow everything Philadelphia Union with me, El Parcero Philly. And if this is the first time you're tuning into this show or you're returning back, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And please, help me grow soccer here in the city of Philadelphia by subscribing to the channel and hit the bell button for those notifications. If that is right, the Philadelphia Union are traveling up to St. Pauli, Minnesota to face off against Minnesota United. And this will be the first time we get to check out that beautiful Allianz Stadium. Now when it comes to Philly, Minnesota, I can't help but think about the other four sports. From the Eagles beating the Vikings back in the 2017 NFC Championship game, which we went on to win and win the Super Bowl as well. We can't forget about the Timberwolves sending us over Jimmy Butler who was huge this past year. The Minnesota Wilds trash may be our treasure here in Philly as well, as Chuck Fletcher is now the GM of the Philadelphia Flyers. Unfortunately, not much from the Phillies and the Twins. In the last time we faced this Minnesota United squad, we beat them down at home 5-1 late in the season. The Union is still sitting as one of the top seeds in the East, while Minnesota United are sitting 5th in the Western Conference. In that tough Western Conference, that we've discussed on this show. This year they are also coming off a bad loss away at Atlanta United. They were picked apart by that lethal Atlanta attack. Now before the season started, Minnesota United made two big moves by bringing in Osvaldo Alonso and Aiko Parra to join this squad. And the veteran leadership and the tenacity of both these players have definitely changed the mentality of Minnesota United. As Minnesota has six wins, three draws, and five losses on the season. Not bad considering where this team came from in the first two years of their existence. Minnesota United had the reputation in their first two seasons of existence as a team that allowed a plethora of goals. But this season, that seems to have changed. This year's got a little bit better. They've only allowed 21 goals through 14 matches. And we're almost halfway through the season. As far as the formation goes, I believe Jim Kirch will stick with the 4-4-2 diamond. Starting in goal, we will see Andre Blake back there. This will be his last match before he reports to the Jamaican national team for the Gold Cup. Line starting from left to right, Kai Wagner, Austin Trusty, Jack Elliott, and Ray Gaddis. Now as far as the fullbacks go, they may have a big match here against Minnesota. Minnesota may want to bunker down on us. And if that happened, I expect the fullbacks to attack out from the wide and the flank, spreading out the Minnesota defense and creating some holes in the middle to attack. We really need a good match here from Jack Elliott and Austin Trusty. I want to see the tenacity back from those two. And in the midfield, starting from left to right, I believe we'll see Jameer Montiero. At the sixth role, we'll see Irish Duningen. At the right shuttle midfielder, our captain Alejandro Bentoya. And at the tip of the diamond, Brandon Aarons. And up top as a two forwards, I believe we'll see Casper Shabilko. And I think we'll see Marco Fabian start as that holding forward. Sort of like what we saw in the LA Galaxy match before he went down. Now, obviously in the past three matches, our issue has been finishing. We haven't been able to get many goals, but it's not like we haven't had plenty of opportunities. And this is going to be the perfect match in my opinion for us to explode for goals. Minnesota feels comfortable playing at home. They have looked good so far this season playing at Allianz Field. I believe we need to come in with this high press that we have and make them feel uncomfortable. Control this match from the first minute. And I think a road trip like this is what this team needs. They need to relax. You can absolutely see out on the pitch these guys were overthinking it too much. Sometimes you just need to tone it down, relax, just have fun out there in the pitch. Of course, the player we need to worry about in the Minnesota United attack is my, my fellow Colombiano, Darwin Quintero, who's still always a dangerous threat to score. It's going to be a difficult task for our boys in blue to go travel up in Minnesota and play in that hostile environment of Allianz Field. But guys, we are in June now. Summer is finally here. And this next stretch of matches is going to make or break our season here. And it starts here with Minnesota. Are we ready to contend in the East? 
Are we ready to shut up the doubt? With the last three results, everyone is throwing us off the bus. Even some people in our own fan base. I for one am not ready to give up on the Philadelphia Union. This match won't be easy and it's going to be a grind. But at the end, I believe we will win this match. And it's going to be a low score. one nothing Philadelphia Union. But guys, those are my thoughts on this match against Minnesota United. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think. How do you feel about our boys heading into Minnesota? And of course, guys, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button for his notifications. Help me grow soccer here in Philadelphia. And as always, my duperos, dupe on.